there are a few logistical solutions have been detailed. Yeah. Mm. One of them is called drum buffer rope. Yeah. Drum buffer rope, mm. you might have read in the book, The Goal. Yeah. It is primarily used in manufacturing. First, the definition. Drum is nothing but schedule of manufacturing at the bottleneck. Then buffer is the amount of time raw material is issued to the shop floor before it is required at the bottleneck. And rope is the mechanism controlling or choking mechanism of raw material into the store. So jump of a rope primarily will be used when the constraint is production or capacity. First of all, let's assume you have a issue on delivery, even though you have enough orders, you have enough raw materials, but you are unable to deliver because one odd equipment is your bottleneck. This is primarily usable there. So drum stands for schedule of manufacture at the bottleneck. Now, let us say you have 20, 30 different, 40, whatever products orders that you have, you have scheduled which will come first, which will come second, which will come third. You have approximate time also at what time will it be usable at that time. Now, let us say something we need it. Tomorrow is what day? Friday. Tomorrow, Friday at 11 o'clock, we are going to, our machine will be free to process that particular item. Let us say from the start to that, coming to that machine, it takes, even if there's no waiting period, let's say it takes four hours. So theoretically, if we release the material at seven o'clock in the morning, and if there's no problem on the way, it will reach by 11 o'clock. But this is where the danger lies. Because in reality, there are going to be uncertainties. Something will not happen properly somewhere. So instead of four hours, let me say, I release it six hours. Now what happens? At what time I'm releasing? five o'clock in the morning. This six hours is called buffer length. Buffer is not actual material inventory. So here is the definition. Buffer is the amount of time material is released into the system before it is required at the bottleneck or constraint. Is this clear? Now, now what will happen if there is no problem, near ideal situation, if I release at five o'clock, it's likely to reach there by nine o'clock. Are you clear? But we need it only at 11. It's okay. So if, if it reaches two hours early, we have no problem. Now, there is a method by which how much should be the buffer length. I'll give you a thumb rule about it. Today, whatever is you think it takes that much time to reach there based on your practical experience, not theoretical, you divide by half. If it today takes 24 hours, please release it by 12 hours. The reason is out of 24 hours, estimate is actual processing time will be no more than two, two and a half hours. Remaining 90% or more will be in waiting. So that has become buffer length. Is this clear? So I've explained you two things. One is the schedule. Uh, schedule at the bottleneck is called drum. Buffer 
is amount of time material is released into the system before required at the bottle neck is this clear third is the rope rope is nothing it's the choking mechanism of not releasing the material into the system before the due uh, time it's nothing other than that I was explaining during the break the example of Vishnu Devi. Earlier, in a, even today, where is the constraint for Vishnu Devi? Number of people who can crawl through the cave. Now, earlier, what was happening? There was no unrestricted allow. Uh, people were allowed to go up. Net result was. People were trying into the cave and thereby preventing each other from getting in. The net final output was suffering. You might have also experienced many times when the traffic signal lights are not working, everyone is trying to go home earlier. Net result, what happens? Traffic jam. Traffic jam. So nothing moves. So we wasted the capacity of the crossing, isn't it? Then now what has happened, they control the people at Katra. They allowed in a small batches of 30, 50 or 100, I don't know nowadays. They only allow as many people as, as many has been cleared from the top. If for some reason at the top, let's say the cave is closed for one hour for Arti or anything else. That means there is no output of the people who have crawled through that then they will not release anybody from the down there. They are choking the mechanic. The problem is, let's say the first machine is idle. I have the raw material. But as per the schedule, it, it should not be working. People are also there. People ask me this question. Is there any problem if we process this material? So I want you to tell me, is it right to process on the first machine too early? If yes, tell me. If no, tell me why. It is not right. It's not right. Why? Because if you really, because this is Naveen, if you release it, basically the material is not going to move forward, you're creating inventory. Not only that, what happens, we have to look at the human behavior. If I have only that material coming in, which I have to process, I have no choice at the bottleneck. I'll only process that material, correct? Yes. But if I had more than one option at any given time, there's a possibility that there could be a wrong at sequencing of the material. Are you clear about it? Yeah, yeah. Bottleneck, that means then they will be tempted to, you know, go into the local measures of picking what they would like to. Yes. Thank you very much. Correct, correct, correct. We are creating a confusion. Actually, this is a scheduling by choking at the back. I have nothing else to do. I am only releasing that material I have because everywhere else, apart from the bottleneck, everywhere else, there should be practically no material because they got extra capacity. 